Yo, what's going on, Sexy Sam? I'm just going to do we're doing a ranked 1v1. It's try hard Thursday. I know it's Friday, but um, I was uh, a little bit under the weather yesterday, and I wasn't able to talk enough, basically, to do a try hard Thursday. So, you know, I took a sick day for myself. I'm sure everybody understands, and we're doing it today instead, which is going to be just as sick. And also, another fun fact, the Phasmophobia wipe came out yesterday. So even though I couldn't talk, I was still gaming. Um, and I have been play. I played it for about 14 hours, like 13 or 14 hours yesterday. And I love it. And I'm going to be playing it a lot more today. So if you guys want to want to see the new Phasmophobia update, I can explain everything. I'm a very experienced ghost hunter at this point. Um, I was over level a thousand when the when the wipe happened so you know I, I got some experience under my belt if you guys want to come see that maybe get some knowledge about phasmophobia what it's about maybe see a couple of ghosts being hunted and come over to my twitch channel because i will be live whenever this video is up probably and it will be uh probably shiv me j2b and maybe yas depending on if he wants to or not it's gonna be a whole group a lot of fun make sure to come by it'll be it'll be fun you'll enjoy it i promise and if you don't because you're a little scaredy baby i understand but either way right now we're playing smite and i chose vulcan i don't normally play vulcan pretty much at all like not only am i talking about try our thursdays but i'm talking about just in general i used to play him a ton i was a very good vulcan player back in the day but um things change <laughs> things change i'm no longer good at him and i no longer feel comfortable picking him as a try hard pick uh and because of that because of that you don't really see him very often now i am maxing my turret and there's a couple of reasons for that reason number one uh, it has been buffed three patches in a row three patches in a row it's been buffed and um on the flip side, the one has actually been nerfed two patches in a row. So maxing the two, if you have a semi-conceivable uh, way to actually hit it, it's pretty decent. Like right now, he's going to die to me, so he has to run through my turret. And you're dead. Nice. Fortunately, my turret cannot deal with minions by itself um i mean am i willing to give this a go i think so throw the meatball like that let's go back i'm not scared right we're not scared we're not scared get the chronos pendant oh i didn't use my blue buff oops oops the daisies you guys can see, right? Yeah, and my mic work? Okay, good. I was just making sure everything is A okay. Now you might be wondering, by the way, doesn't your clear suffer a lot if you're maxing your turret? The answer is surprisingly no. Because your scaling, your ability scaling, actually is enough to offset the fact, as you can see there. It's enough to offset the fact that you're not actually leveling your abilities. My turret will tank a bunch, do a bunch of damage. Are you just standing there? Kind of seems like this dude's got a bone to pick. Got a bone to pick with my turret. All right though at level four uh my turret can pretty much clear buffs by itself like i can drop it here it'll start aggroing and then i'll just use my one and run away that'll clear that out for me all right good ages good ages not bad about that sometimes sometimes your enemies have good plays all right 
Um, he's probably going to alt this, so I'm not going to use too much on it. Oh, that hit me. Ouch. I'd rather you not chase me. Okay. Why is he so fast? Yeah, I kind of figured he would alt that. That's why I wasn't that surprised when it happened. What I am surprised about is the fact that it got range enough to alt me too. That's kind of messed up. I don't know what all that's about. All right, again, my turret should be able to clear that. I'm just going to focus on getting these. And yeah, basically the way I play Vulcan is just very... Uh, I guess aggressive. Oh, nice. The reason I sent it that far is because I was hoping it would hit him. I was hoping he would think I altered the wave and it would hit him so I can get red buff for free. He's definitely not going to want to run through that level 5 turret. It's taking everything in his power to clear the turret and he still got hit once. <laughs> That's funny. Um, let's just, you know, tank for me. And you're dead. You're not dead. I forget sometimes that your turret doesn't shoot through tower. But I really want him to fight me, dude. Ow. He just doesn't want to fight me. Um, I kind of just want to go... Well, okay. Let's just do this. Let's just go book. <clears throat> I don't know why I built book at all, by the way. That was, like, completely random. I just wanted more mana, and in my brain, I was like, mana equals book of thought by book of thought. So, like... <laughs> I don't know. There... There's no thought process behind it. <clears throat> what I will say, though, it's not wrong. It does give you good mana. And good luck getting over here now, buddy. We're just going to run through. Nice. He's ulting to get past my turret, dude. He just surrendered. <laughs> he can't, he can't get past my turret. So he's like, you know what, dude? Screw this. I'm over it, man. I don't care anymore. Your quarter, you're just abusing me with turret. I'm done with it. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys in the next game, I guess. Yo, what's up, boys? Welcome back to game number two, dude. Welcome back. I'm going to play. Who do I want to play? Morgan Le Fay is probably the most annoying god in the game. In my opinion. So I'm going to play her. I'm going to be the annoying. Let's be Summer Eclipse. That is not Summer Eclipse. Oh, it is Summer Eclipse. Pog! I picked the right skin. Alright. Obviously, when you play Morgan Le Fay, hold on. Obviously, when you play Morgan Le Fay, you're going to be probably just spamming. So you're going to go Chronos Pendant and you're going to go Beads and you're going to go Horn Shard. Probably just one of each ability. And then do I invade? I feel like I definitely can. Let me think about this. Because if I invade, I need Japanese contents. I. What do you mean? I don't. I don't speak Japanese. 
I'm not going to learn another language. I mean, on it, honestly, wouldn't be bad, but not for one dude, at least. Have All right, let's get this invade going. But, um, I forgot what I was going to say. Nice. He wrapped me and it did nothing. Perfect. Exactly what you'd expect to happen. Early game Morgan Le Fay being a big bully. A big old bully. I want to use my one and my three. Because it's going to spawn a little minion that will do some damage for me. I want to get the minis here because the minis, if you get both minis, means you hit level five off the wave, but only if you get your own buff, I guess. And clearly, I did not get my own buff. I mean, he hurt me a little bit, but like, I don't really care that much, right? Why would I care that much, I think? I'm healthier than him. Look at that, dude. Look at that, dude. All right, you're definitely not... You're not greeting that, right? Okay. I thought for, for just a second... For just a second, I thought this man was psychotic. I thought he was going to greed that wave. While I at all. All right, let's grab the blue buff. And then, um, I don't know. I mean, I assume he's probably going to get the XP camp while I'm doing my blue buff because he has all the pressure on the world right now because I got the red buff. And I assume he knows he owns this pressure, so he's going to go take XP camp. Leaving little old me to fend for myself under tower. Oh, he didn't take it. Wait, hold up. Feeling pretty good. I honestly wonder, what if you maxed your three first on Morgan Le Fay? Would that be smart? Because you poke like really often with it. And you poke really efficiently with it as well. Because it's so far range. Can I kill him here actually? Nice. Nice. I could kill him there. I wasn't sure. I think a lot of my success in killing him was his own misplay, though, to be honest. I want him to go for wave, so I'm not going to start blue yet. I was going blue. Perfect! Let's go. I can't pick up that blue, unfortunately, but... Still very, very, very good for me. Or can I pick up that blue? Maybe? I mean, I picked it up. Question is, do I die doing it? No, he's going that way. Nice. I want to get Pestilence second item, I think. I think with just Chronos Pen and Pestilence, I, I win every fight. Well, not if he beads it. Not if he has beads. And his one just does infinite. Yeah, his one did half of my health. All right, well, I do have Pestilence. Oh my God, wait. Pestilence is 2,400. I thought it was 2,200. That sucks. What the heck, man? Damn, that really sucks. 
Oh, there he is. Um, I could die here, honestly. He has a red buff. He's just juking the ever-loving shit out of me. I'm out of mana already. Um, all right, I mean, he's out of mana. He's just going to run away. All right, there's no world where you kill me right now. All right. I'm still pretty far ahead. It might not look like it in terms of gold. Because he got the revenge gold. But um in terms of XP I'm I'm substantially ahead, I think. Right? Let's go divine as well. Let's just straight up nip his, his cooldown completely. Especially because he's going double lifesteal. Or I'm sorry, nip his lifesteal completely because he's going double lifesteal. I don't need to worry about anything other than his lifesteal. And I should be pretty safe from any all in attempt. Because I do have beads to juke a little bit, and I also have uh, pestilence. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty good. Did he beads it again? Wait, did he beads it again? My one? Or did the fear not hit? Okay, I'm getting kind of rolled. <laughs> Hold up. I'm actually kind of getting obliterated. I didn't use my beads there because I didn't think I needed to. Clearly, I was wrong. He's just running all the way back. Well, this is just not good at all, is it? I'm big fucked right now. All right. I might divine soon. He still has no life steal though, which is weird. Hmm. I do wonder. Is he going to let me have this, or is he coming over here? He's letting me have it. Nice. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to go straight to Vine. Wait. Oh, he backed. Okay. I said wait because I thought, like, the minion... I, I saw him here when I go, went to red. But the minions went straight to Phoenix, so I thought... I wonder if he's going straight towards Bull Demon. That would have been an amazing play, by the way. Just so we're all aware. I mean, I'm... I'm definitely winning that one. Definitely winning that one. And I guess I'll do Bull Demon. I mean, I don't really know if I can safely. Because I don't have the most damage right now. But I assume that Morgan Le Fay is decent at Bull Demon clear. It would seem as though I'm incorrect. Nice. 
All right. Just run away. Use the three for movement speed. Next item is probably going to be... I mean, honestly, it could just be a Mirrodin or a Polly. They're both really good. <clears throat> and... Um, excuse me. On top of that, I only have 20% cooldown right now. And I do need 40%. He's finally starting to get some defense. He tried to blink combo me, but I just beads it. And then I ulted his ult. His ult did 648 and my ult did 600 basically. So the ult's pretty much evened out. All right, that wasn't bad. I mean, the, the early game was a little rough, I'll admit. The early game was a little bit bad, but overall it wasn't terrible. Hit him with the GGs. And I will see you guys in game three. Yo, boys, welcome back. The game number three. How y'all doing? It's been a minute. Um, well, for you guys, it hasn't been any time at all. For me, it's been about two and a half hours. Um, let me play. You know what, dude? I am the shadow that haunts your nightmares. Let's be scum. I'm down. Obviously, we got to play the croaky skin. We obviously have to play croaky. And uh, you don't hear any audio right now because I'm actually tabbed out looking at something real quick. I apologize. I know super unprofessional, but it is an email. That's important. Anyways. Minimize that. We're fighting a Vulcan. Oh, okay. This is actually a good matchup for me. So for those of you who don't know why this is a good matchup for me, uh, do not, do not feel bad that you don't know. First off, you shouldn't, you should know that there is nothing to feel bad about because you don't know. Uh, but for those of you who do know, you know, it's because of my flurry strike. My third ability makes me immune to being knocked up, which means that meatball, it ain't shit. I'm not scared of it. That meatball ain't gonna do anything to me. That ultimate, I ulted. Who cares? I have like a like a point two five. I have like a quarter of a second of immunity frames while I ult. I'm fine. And on top of that, on top of that, I'm a stealthy boy. I'm not scared of nobody. I'm not scared of no Vulcans. <laughs> Nice. Big damage. Actually really good for me. He's doing red buff. Ooh. No kill. No kill, but actually good though. Oh, man. I shelled because I really thought... I thought I could get the kill off. I mean, okay, let's be honest. It's still good for me. Because it means he doesn't get red buff anymore. He doesn't have it on anymore. So it's still not bad for me. But I really did think... That I could kill him. And then my shell would tank a tower shot for me while I deactivated tower and lived. Genuinely full belief in my plan that did not work <laughs> at all. <laughs> Sometimes you got a big ass plan and it turns out to be a stinker, but you know, that's life. Oop. Mm, 
can't hurt him much, to be honest with you. Never mind. Never mind. You greedy boy, you forgot you already ageist. I didn't think that I could hurt him much because in my in my brain, I didn't think he was gonna run back up the wave. Like I thought he was right here and he was just gonna backfire and run away. But then he like backfired and then like came back in and then backfired again and died. Like I, I don't know what that was. That was not a successful game plan, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, he just backed. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. So far, nothing really has amounted to much. Bro just wants, like, he just takes damage. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know why he thinks he's immune to, to dying. I mean, I'm pretty sure this gives me red buff, does it not? I stopped his back so I get red buff. And then with red buff and carapace shield, do I not just insta-kill him? Do I not just do so much damage it doesn't actually matter? Oh, okay. He ages. Honestly, that's fair. But still though, like, I got your actual, I got your actual relic for my shard. I got your real relic. Or my not actual real relic. And I still got the red buff. <laughs> Dude. You cannot, you cannot be doing this. All right, he just backed. So I am safe to full commit to this blue. And then I'm going to run all the way over to my blue, taking no second to stop. Also, he's not building cooldown. It looks like he's going mid guardian. Mid guardian is an item that I recommend against Loki. But if you're going Vulcan, like if you're playing Vulcan, I mean, bro, you need cooldown. All right. Perfect. I got a crazy good poke on him. And on top of that, we're getting the XP camp now. And on top of that, I have 2,800 gold to buy. I'm actually going to go straight up crusher. Ah, no. Jones is better. Jones is better. Let's just be honest with ourselves here. When I get one more wave, assuming I can last hit all of them, then I will get full on max cooldown. Well, not max cooldown. I'm three. I'm three minions off. But I'll get full on thirty percent cooldown, which is just gonna slaughter the dude. Uh, you're just, I mean, you're dead anyways, right? You're dead anyways. And we have cleared. I have 30% cooldown now. He does. I will admit. He will probably get the red buff. Because he's a little stronger than I am right now. Because I'm a little weakling. Maybe. You got mystical mail. Okay, the mystical mail is a weird play. The mystical mail is a weird play and not even contesting red is a weird play. Hello? Ow. Oh, 
don't really care about uh all this damage he's dealing to me. It's kind of irrelevant. I feel like I am not invincible. Like I take damage. But when I get low, my Jotun's is going to carry my sustain. And then on top of that, I can just alt out or just stealth out. Like he has no way to track me in stealth. Granted, he did buy mystical mail, I guess, but it's not really a real way. I might take this. Oh, we didn't. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I missed. No. Unlucky. Not unlucky. I actually just suck. I can just kill you, though. Yeah, I just shell it. And I have a minion. The boys here. Oh, my. Nice. The minion wave is gone. My minion, even though he died, got rid of backdoor protections completely for me. Tower's gone. 1.7k up. I mean, it's just looking like a clean game. It's just, it's just looking like an absolutely clean game. I missed my auto attack. Let's grab this because, honestly, I don't have max cooldown yet and I want it. Yeah, I... I don't see a way that he comes back from this, if I'm honest. Like, I I don't even want to be the guy that's like... <laughs> like, you can skip the next game. <laughs> but, I, I mean, this dude's kind of just getting rolled. Maybe don't skip the next game. Maybe he does, like... Maybe his older brother takes over or something. No idea where this guy is. Not enough to kill. Oop. Uh, I I, I want to go red buff, but also I know I can't. Oh crap! Shiv is calling me. I'm in the middle of a game. No, my worst nightmare. Oh my. <laughs> he thought I went that way. <laughs> oh, that is funny. That is funny, dude. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys in game number four. Let me let me call her back and then uh I'll get to y'all. What's up boys? Welcome back to game number four. I'm gonna play a little bit of Mercury. I don't play Mercury that often anymore, mainly because I believe that he's not as strong as he probably should be in the current meta. But, um, regardless, I'm going to try him out. I'm going to do my best. Hopefully it's not a god that completely demolishes melee characters. I hopefully I have some sort of a chance. But I also feel like Okay, actually, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I, I like, yes, he can stun me. And yes, he has range on me. And yes, he has built in defenses. But I can punch pretty hard. So maybe even though like the early game is going to suck. Don't get me wrong. Even though the early game is going to blow some ass, maybe it doesn't matter for the late game because I'll be fast enough, strong enough, and have enough pen for his passive to not matter and to punch through his lifesteal. I'm thinking we got a chance. I'm going to need beads. Maybe not 
right this second. I'm going to get it right this second. I'm thinking of level five fights, right? Like when I buy beads right now, I'm not thinking, uh, okay, I'm going to have six items and I'm going to need beads for the alt in, right? I'm thinking level five, I'm going to alt him. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to one hit burst him, right? He's going to have his passive stacked if he's going to be relatively tanky. Um, so because I can't one hit burst him, I'm going to have to beads his stun in order to hopefully get a kill. Definitely possible. Definitely risky. But if it works, it definitely pays for itself. So that's what I'm all about right now. I outcleared him. Not exactly sure how. Yeah, there's a stun that I don't really care too much about right now. He's got no potions. Oh, that is annoying. I'm full committing. I don't care. Oh my god, it died to the tick damage, bro. Oh, you're dead here. Nice. Nice. Alright. We got the kill. It wasn't clean. And it was... It was really close, actually. But we did get the kill. And I have my beads still up. So maybe I can kill him here. Ah, probably not. Probably not. I don't care enough to fight him right now. I think I would much rather save my alt and my beads and just go for the XP camp. Because he did get two buffs. You know, he did steal that red buff. The tick damage from his one took it. So I need all the XP I can get. Oh, that hit me. Ow. Oh, he's maxing his one. He's definitely maxing his one. Uh, he's stunned. I don't think it matters too much. Because I think I still win this fight. Maybe I don't win it. Uh... I feel like I can, though. I missed. Uh oh. Oh, thank God that didn't hit. That was close, though. No mana. Saved by the middle towers under attack. I have no idea where he is. Can I do this? Nope. Nope, I cannot. I cannot. Yo, he did him back. <gasps> Whoa. He's actually insane. He's actually insane. Red buff just spawned. He did back. He did back here so I can get red buff. I was watching his gold the second I saw him here. Because I wanted to know if he was going to do red or not. By the way, I'm not going to fight him right now. He's going to have tier 2 breastplate. And I'm going into damage. So it would be actually stupid as hell for me to fight. So what I'm going to do instead. Is I'm just going to try to hyper farm. Let's 
see. Are the treasure chests here? They're not, which means they're back in the spawn. Uh, let's grab this and this. You're clearing wave. I am not carrying. That one hits so hard. Holy shit. Actually, I have an idea. Fuck it. Like I said, he's too tanky. I'm never going to be able to kill him. I'm going to go get his treasure chest. That is already taken. So I guess I'll just clear away. Yeah, I kind of got to play like a bitch right now because I'm not winning any fights. Not for not for a minute. Not for a minute. My dude's got the fence. He's got the cooldown. He's got the defense. He's got power back in him from the Book of Thoth. And I don't have any defense yet. And I barely have power. That was my one clear backline. That's all I want to know. Nope. Alright, his big damage is gone. So I don't care. I will never want to fight. He thinks XP camp is up because I ran this way. To try to bait him a little bit. Um, I'm actually going to go Pestilence, maybe. Or I might go Talisman. Talisman gives you move speed, which gives you me damage as Mercury. I think I'll, I think I'll be going Talisman. All right, he doesn't have any stun up or anything. The reason I all in, by the way, I'm sure you guys just heard, was the red buff spawning in. He wasted his stun trying to hit me. So I had the, the window open to all in. And he was, uh... He knows stun to defend himself. Obviously, I want to get this blue buff if I can. I doubt I'll be able to. But I would love it. Nice. And I think he's just backing here. All right. We have... We were never really behind, I guess. Technically speaking, we've always been ahead this game. But... It feels like we were behind on the power curve. Like, he definitely had an easier fighting time than I did, so... I feel like with all this extra farm, this extra gold I have, this extra XP that I have over him, our power... like, rank, our power level, is kind of the same. Like, I can mess with him, he can mess with me, but overall, I should be able to win the fight. I do want these. He's running around. He won't make it to me, though. So this, I will have to go Toxic Blade. Unfortunately, I really don't want to. It's not an item that's very... Um, it's not an item that's very stat. Like, statted well for Mercury. I mean, actually, that's that's maybe just straight up not true. Because it does have 7% movement speed, which is good. And it does have 10 base pen. I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm capping. Maybe it's actually just an amazing item, and I and I undervalue it. Could be it. What if we just altered bold even here? You think he sees me? 
He started back it. Oh, he has a ward. He warded it. That's why he started backing, because he saw me charging alt because he had a ward on it. I understand now. I'm pretty far from being able to do much here. My one doesn't do jack shit to you. Okay, that's bad. I missed. Yeah, my one hitting three times did 400 damage. That's <laughs> so bad, dude. Alright. Now his stun is down. Which is the main thing that I wanted. I was so close there. Alright, he is going to get... Go pick up the red buff, which means I should be fucking terrified. Thank God he missed that. What I'm going to do his blue and then alt past him. Now I'm going to go do my blue. Using my alt for farm is superior in this matchup than using my ult to fight. Especially while I have 23 gold in hand. I'm not stupid. Like, I know I can't fight right now. I did use my relics to try to poke him, see if maybe he would fuck up and miss some stuff, but he didn't. Which is fine. Oh, he's slaughtering my tower because of how tanky he is. But he actually just tanked like 16 tower shots. He tanked that entire tower. I'm gonna just do bull demon. I know he has I know he has a ward on it. I honestly don't care. I don't think he can make it here if he backs. He went Chronos Pendant. That's surprising. I would have figured he'd go more damage. I mean, de I guess Chronos Pendant technically is more damage, but not really. And I need more pen. Let's go, uh... Let's go Sunder. I feel like Sunder will help a lot. And honestly, maybe I just all through this and take tower. You missed. Now you stun. Now I Sunder you. Okay, he used everything. He used everything. And he's still lower health than me. This is a very good spot for me. Now you stun because you have to. Now I don't care because I don't need to. Perfect. Perfect. That went exactly as I planned it. Exactly as I was hoping. That's so good for me. We get the red buff. I can't exactly take Phoenix here. But I can probably do some decent damage. Because I do have really high attack speed. Never mind. I definitely take it. Holy shit. Bro, I sometimes forget how strong Mercury is. Like, how much damage he de he deals. Oh, you're definitely stealing this from me? Never mind. I underestimate everything. I say I can't take a Phoenix, I take it. I say I'm going to lose the blue, I get it. I say I don't think I can do Bull Demon if he backs. Or if he doesn't back. I don't think he backed, and I did Bull Demon. 
Like, I don't know, man. Maybe, I, maybe I'm just not respecting the Mercury damage as much as I should be. I do have my beads up. So I'm, I'm down to all in. Second this guy shows up, I'm alting him. Be patient, be patient. I missed. All that patience for what? I mean, he still dies. It's not like he can run from me. Now you want to stun. Yeah. Unfortunately, I do not care. Perfect. And that right there, boys, should be the game over. Mercury feels good, man. I got to be honest. He feels pretty good. He feels like he didn't lose his touch. Like he's still got some power in him. He's still got some kick left. I will say I probably should have gone upgraded XE instead of going Kins and tier one. Or tier two. Did I get Kins and tier two? I probably should have upgraded. I probably should have gotten fully upgraded uh, XE. And then gotten tier one instead of getting kids and tier two. That probably would have been a better power spike for me. But nonetheless, it still ended up being pretty good. And uh, a really good try hard Thursday. Four matches. Four, four decently long games. There was only one five minutes surrender. The others were like 15, 20 minutes each, which is pretty nice. One of them I was actually losing for a little bit. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, y'all, peace.